Enjoy a narrated virtual tour of sports aviation aircraft exhibited in the Air and Space Museum's Stephen F. Udvarhazy Center. This one-of-a-kind Curtis 1A Gulf Hawk was flown from 1930 to 1936 by Al Williams, former chief test pilot for the U.S. Navy and a famous aerobatic pilot. He flew the Gulf Hawk in military and public air shows promoting military aviation during the interwar years when aviation budgets were low. By 1933, Williams managed and flew for the Aviation Department of Gulf Oil Company, which painted the Gulf Hawk in its familiar color scheme of orange with white and blue trim. Airshow pilot and aerobatic champion W.W. W. Woody Edmondson thrilled audiences with his Monocoupe 110 special throughout the 1940s. Edmondson, who named the airplane Little Butch for its bulldog-like appearance, won the first international aerobatic championships in 1948. The Monocoupe 110 special was a clipped-wing version of the 110, the sports coupe of the 1930s. The Bucher Youngmeister dominated the aerobatic scene in Europe and the United States from the mid-1930s through the 1940s. Introduced in 1935, the young Meister became a favorite of European flying clubs. Mike Murphy flew it to win the 1938 and 40 American Aerobatic Championships. Beverly Bevo Howard then bought it and won the 1946 and 47 championships. The Grumman Gulf Hawk II was built for retired naval aviator and airshow pilot Al Williams and became one of the most exciting aerobatic aircraft of the 1930s and 40s. As head of the Gulf Oil Company's aviation department, Williams flew it in military and civilian air shows around the country, performing precision aerobatics and dive bombing maneuvers to promote military aviation during the interwar years. The sturdy civilian biplane, with its strong aluminum monocoupe fuselage and right cyclone engine, nearly matched the Grumman F-3F standard Navy fighter, which was operational at the time. It took its orange paint scheme from the Williams Curtis 1A Golf Hawk, also in the Smithsonian's collection. Known as the Laird Turner Meteor LTR-14, and later the Turner RT-14, this modified racer placed third in the 1937 Thompson Trophy event at the National Air Races and won the 38 and 39 contests. With this aircraft, Roscoe Turner became the only three-time winner of the Thompson Trophy. Excalibur III first belonged to famed aviator A. Paul Mance, who added extra fuel tanks for long-distance racing to the standard P-51C fighter. With it, Mance won the 1946 and 47 Bendix Air Race and set a transcontinental speed record in 1947 when the airplane was named Blaze of Noon. On May 29, 1951, Captain Charles F. Blair flew the renamed Excalibur III from Norway across the North Pole to Alaska in a record-setting ten and a half hours. Four months earlier, he flew the Excalibur III from New York to London in less than eight hours, breaking the existing mark by over an hour. Little Stinker was the second aircraft constructed by Curtis Pitts and is the oldest surviving Pitts special. Pitts introduced the S-1 in 1945, the first of a famous line that dominated aerobatic competition throughout the 1960s and 70s because of their small size, lightweight, short wingspan, and extreme agility. Betty Skilton bought this airplane in 1948 and with it won the 1949 and 50 International Feminine Aerobatic Championship. World War II fighters were some of the most powerful, propeller-driven, piston-engine aircraft ever made, so they were ideal for unlimited-class air racing, which had no restrictions to limit performance. 
Test pilot Daryl Greenemeyer and a team of fellow Lockheed Skunk Works employees used their engineering creativity to modify a Grumman F8F-2 Bearcat into a purpose-built air racer. With registration number N1111L and assigned race number 1, the racer was known first as the Greenemeyer Bearcat between 1964 and 65 and again in 1968. Smirnoff, after the team's main sponsor for 1966 and 67, then named Conquest 1 in 1969. Greenemeyer and his team won the Unlimited Championship six times between 1965 and 69, and again in 1971 with the Bearcat. The Avalon originally designed the Chipmunk after World War II as a primary trainer to replace the venerable Tiger Moth. Aerobatic and movie pilot Art Scholl flew his Pennzoil Special at air shows throughout the 1970s and early 80s, thrilling audiences with his skill and showmanship and proving that the design was a top-notch aerobatic aircraft. Scholl was a three-time member of the U.S. aerobatic team an air racer, and a movie and television stunt pilot. At air shows, he often flew with his dog Aileron on his shoulder or taxied with him standing on the wing. The Beck Mahoney Sorceress was the first sport biplane to exceed 200 miles per hour on a closed course, and it reached 245 miles per hour in level flight. This unique metal staggering biplane flew to many victories during its distinguished career in the 1970s. The aircraft proved so successful that the rules governing its competition qualifications were modified to such an extent that the sorceress was forced into retirement. Leo Laudenschlager completely modified a sleek aeroback designed Stevens Arco with a new forward fuselage wings, tail, and cockpit, enabling sharper and more difficult maneuvers. He won an unprecedented seven U.S. National Aerobatic Championship titles between 1975 and 82, as well as the 1980 World Championship title flying the Laser 200. The Sukhoi Design Bureau, makers of Soviet and Russian military aircraft, designed the Su-26 in 1983 for unlimited aerobatic competition. It performed spectacular gyroscopic maneuvers and quick multiple snap rolls and can nearly hover from its propeller. The Soviet National Aerobatic Team flew 222 flights in this aircraft in 1990 and 1991, then Jerry Molitor bought it in 1998 and flew it in advanced unlimited competition till 2001. The Sharp DR-90 Nemesis was the most successful aircraft in air racing history, dominating its competition, winning 47 of its 50 contests from 1991 until it retired in 1999. Flown by pilot and designer John Sharp, it won nine consecutive Reno Gold National Championships and 16 world speed records for its class. The Sharp NXT dominated the sports class at the 2009 National Championship Air Races, grabbing five new speed records and a fourth consecutive national title. NXT's competition career included four world speed records during the autumn of 2015. If you would like to tour other aircraft in this series, convenient links are in the description section below this video. I hope you enjoyed this narrated virtual tour of sports aviation aircraft displayed in the Stephen F. udvar -Hazy Center of the National Air and Space Museum. The museum is in Chantilly, Virginia, outside of Washington, D.C., is free to visit, but there is a $15 parking fee. Here are YouTube suggested links on similar topics that you may enjoy.